All right, y'all. This is Welcome to the Family Podcast, episode six. Yeah. I am D. Lamar. Blake. Champ. And we have special guests tonight, Lydia Pace and Latrice Pace. Hey. Yeah. Lord, I hit the wrong button, Jesus. <laughs> Can anyway, we? Oh, listen, we oh, need oh, an editor. Supposed to hear this? You ain't got to hear We it. have theme music. Yeah. I suppose, but I'm learning this thing. I forgot what the claps were. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, let me in the tree space. Yay! Woo. You can edit that, right? Uh, it's in there. It's all good. It's in there. That's, okay. That's what make the podcast the podcast. Family. Cause we, we, we be doing to the family extra stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. Once again, Marcus is not here. We told y'all last episode was going to y'all. Just keep him in your prayers. Yes. It's the month of May, so we are gonna pray, pray for him. Drop a comment. Let him know you're thinking about him. Keep him in your prayers. Yeah. All righty, so what have you guys been up to? Anybody can go first. Did you go first? You were born first. No, I go first all the <laughs> time. You were born first. I always go first. Latrice? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Latrice, what has Latrice been up to? Um, I guess gradually uh, getting acclimated to this new normal as well as creating some new normals, um, back, getting back to church, um, getting back to gigging, and a little bit of traveling. Uh, mm-hmm. finished, finished, uh, uh, finishing up the mixing of the second part of my CD. Nice. As well wow. as working on some uh, other stuff to kind of help promote it. So, yeah. Wow, wow. Yep. That's good. The live recording. Yes. yes. I know people have been waiting for that. Part wait. two. Part two. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Well, basically, y'all know I'm in school. And so this week, uh, we're wrapping it up. And so as soon as I uh, finish with this, I'm going to do some things and head back upstairs to finish up so I can finish strong. Hopefully, after that, um, I'm working on a new character that's online. Uh, you can go to my. Instagram, yes. Facebook Funny. page. Uh, <laughs> really didn't even intend to come out with her. It just happened one day, and I was playing on my phone. I didn't even know what it was. The app was. <laughs> and I saw that face, and the face to kind of like just brought forth this this voice. Mm-hmm. And so um, when I posted it to my family, they was like, oh, yeah, you need to do that. And so that's what made me post it online. And so now people are just saying do that. So I'm working on that. I said, well, let me develop her and see um, where that what God does with it. I'm also uh, working on a book and another podcast for young uh, girls as far as that's going to college and have questions as far as education is, is concerned. I'm only doing that because a group of them have asked me to do it. And so I'm going to do that. Don't know long how long I'll be doing that, but I'll do that and because I'm all for the education, bettering yourself. So that's what I'm working on and hope to get those things out this year. That's, what's that's up. good. That's good. Give that's us a little bit of this voice, the character, a little bit of the voice. Well, baby, now see what you got to do is go on and serve the law. <laughs> we need a, we Stop need a playing movie. with God. <laughs> we need a movie. God ain't playing with you in the devil show, ain't <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it really is because you don't hear this voice for a long, a long time. time. <laughs> really long time. Yeah, I've been developing yeah. her for a while now, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Did y'all have any questions for the aunties? So, Auntie Lydia first. Okay. So, going to school and getting all of the education that you, because it's been a long time, like you have gathered a lot of information. Yeah. So, what is what is your next step mm-hmm. with all of the information that you've gathered? Like, a lot of people don't know, like you've mm-hmm. been, I mean, I think it's, I mean, from what I know, it's been a school teacher, got yeah. the education. Yeah. Um, then at one point you was doing something concerning like 
the fire department and stuff like business yeah, headquarters and headquarters. <laughs> yeah. Like so, like what's next? Is are, are, are we do we got a building coming with Lydia Pace on it or like <laughs> is it gonna break out? Look, like, like, yeah. break out. Like, <laughs> do what we got. <laughs> like, like what well, we, <laughs> I'm still gathering information. Uh, I want to complete my doctorates and then I'll be done with that with education and then. From there, I want to educate other young people because I feel like everyone didn't have the parents that I had. Everyone didn't have the family that I had and the opportunities that I had. And so I feel like for those of us who have had those opportunities, it is our business, if God graces us to, to create those opportunities for other young people that are coming along because some of them just just need a helping hand. And yeah. so that's what I'm praying for, that God help me to get my 501c3 in order and in place so I can get those funds and things like that flowing for, and ultimately a school is coming. Right. But um, nice. basically you just start with small groups mm -hmm. and helping in the community. No cameras, no nothing, just yeah. doing what you can do. And then God opened the doors for everything. So do you want to build a school or do you want... Now, you know, I got a story. I can go back when you walked around Gordon College in Barnesville. <laughs> wow. like, I think you went around like seven times. Oh, yeah. I think the shirt you had on was green when you went to school that yeah. morning. Yeah. Wow. When you got home, I think it was brown. Yeah, wow. So you, wow. What was she doing when she, what, what she, was she marched doing? around Jericho? Yeah. You were just walking around praying. Wow. Yes, I was. But actually, I was with the Baptist Student Union at that point. Okay. And uh, we were walking around, and I believe in my spirit that's when God began to really cultivate because he had already planted the seed for a school, but he began to cultivate that in me. Like you need a school where it's okay to serve me. It's okay to, I am welcome there. Mm -hmm. Not saying that Gordon is not cause Gordon is still standing and still strong, right, right. but it is not a Christian college. Right. You know and possibly saying? because of what you did, because a lot of changes have took place wow. in that That's true. school. Wow. So you never know. Wow. I, that hey, prayer still on the ground. The glory. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. To God be the glory. And, you know, it started out as, like, maybe 20 of us. And by the time we finished, because we was like, oh, we all going to watch around seven times. It was, like, really, like, four of us when we got <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they had pain, dropped on off. In yeah. pain, <laughs> hurting. But we was, like, Keep we were committed to the cause. Right. And I believe God did do some great. It was some students from Woodbury uh, Church yeah. that was Woodbury. at Gordon at that time. So we connected. Powerful church. So, yeah. you know, we just connected and we just kept going because we was like, we know what prayer, we know what faith can do. So wow. I believe that wow. champ. I got a question one to Tracy. So um y'all so y'all are the two youngest of the Pace sisters. Um, so how did it feel growing up in a family that was uh Cause y'all, the group was already going when y'all, when y'all was still in high school mm -hmm. and y'all had to graduate. They made y'all wait to graduate yeah. to join. So how did it feel? Uh, did y'all want to sing? Well, y'all was like, Oh, I can't wait to graduate so I can sing. And then, so two, it's a twofold question. Um, the second part of it, how does it feel fast for it later to write one of, uh, the Pay Sisters latest hits, which is contentment. Cause everybody loved contentment okay. and yeah. kind of talk about like how that came about. Yeah. I couldn't wait not to join the group. <laughs> did not want to do any singing. I just didn't because ugh, you growing up in a family with <laughs> industry professionals and everybody that's older than you, they're singing and they're singing well and they're putting out albums and, you know, it's just great. And it's like, what do I, I've always felt like whatever I offer, I want to offer something different from what the next person is. Right offering so I just I struggled with not wanting to be a part of the group because I was like what can I bring to the group okay. that's different from anybody else right, you know okay. I don't, I'm just not one for more of the same that's boring right. you know but um, I'm grateful that daddy saw where I was supposed to be mm. and he made it it was not an option you know mm. you gonna sing in this group so um, fast forward I'm so grateful that he he saw that and uh, that I was obedient to it mm. and wow. uh, faithful to it, trusting him as not only my father, but my spiritual leader. Right. Okay. So See, that's good. Yeah. So yeah. Um, fast forward, writing contentment. Ooh, that came from some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Some life. It, yeah. <laughs> it, it was every, I tell people all the time, every scenario that I uh, brought 
to that in, to that song, I literally yeah. lived it. You he know, did. I had to walk it out. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know, so it wasn't easy. You know, having a car one day and the next week is you got to catch the bus. Wow. <laughs> or, or you Man. know, and 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 Being telling and telling yourself <laughs> it's okay. To be on the bus being a pay sister. Wow. Telling yourself I'm not to um, feel like you have to live up to the expectations of what other people think you should have and how you should live and how you should mm. uh, be and who you are. You know, I early on, I was like, I'm not buying that. I'm yeah. not buying into that because you you lose your authenticity. Mm. You start wow. putting on mm-hmm. for people. I got you. you know, I have a Mercedes Benz and anybody that knows that I, that was any stranger would think, oh, oh she worked hard yeah, for that. Yeah. Oh, she- <laughs> Somebody, it was given to me. <laughs> you know, people just have these unrealistic expectations of people who are in the light. Yeah. And I've come to serve notice. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm never going to be that person you think I should be. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm going to be who I am. So, um, mm-hmm. contentment, I think it was being faithful to the journey. Mm-hmm. Um, being remaining close to God throughout the journey so that he could not only give me the lyrics, but the melody to pen that song oh. and all of that. So, yeah, wow. I'm grateful. Great song. That's good. Boy, yeah, I, great I, love song. I love that song. Thank yeah. That's a good song. I want to pick back off of um, the education part and uh, let's like, so dating. So you, you are a woman that has put ed- like, God first, of course, but then you take your education seriously. Yeah. How important is it for your spouse or whoever you're looking to date to, for you, should they, their education goals match where you are? Or is that a big thing to you? If they just say, well, I just graduated high school. And, you know, I didn't want, I didn't feel like going to college, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just like that's just something I thought about. Like, do you want them to have the same like aspirations? Like, well, yeah, I want to go get my doctor's degree. You, uh, you know what? I'm gonna answer that. Answer that. <laughs> you ain't got to answer me. I'm gonna answer it, and I'm going to be honest because mm. I owe it to everybody to be honest. Hallelujah. Mm. Um, <laughs> you owe it to yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've been living with myself a while, but you know, those that are interested, <laughs> got you. I know. Um, Okay, that was one point when I was like, you know, God, it does, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Just as long as he love you, this, that, and that, and other. I can't tell you the list because that's my list. Right. It's not long, but it's, it's you know, it's, 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 it's my list. <laughs> and <clears throat> the longer I live, the more education I've started gathering is, and more conversations I have. I realize that is a problem sometimes. Mm. It's an issue because people think that you think you know everything because when you, you yourself really are not mm. even thinking like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they're already coming with preconceived notions about mm-hmm. how you're going to be, how you're going to, oh, you're going to be air, you're going to be stuck up. And you're not. Wow. I'm not. I'm open. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, hmm. if you're already coming with these Oh, oh, yes, because I, I I know, you know, I may not have been to, uh, <laughs> you know. So do you and, think that's a man's right. insecurity? You think it's a man's insecurity Absolutely. they're approaching you because they, like, they haven't had the whatever education, so they feel like yeah. I but, have to come a certain way. Yes. In, Let me go on. Because every, yeah, because I want to Number one, <laughs> I went to Spelman. All right. So there is already a stigma that yeah, comes with it's that. Spelman. Mm-hmm. It, they already think that every Spelman woman wants a more a house man. Yeah, they they make. Now that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, at first, <laughs> <laughs> you, you see them walking around campus, and you experience them that are not even on campus. But it's like, oh, there is a Morehouse brand. You, it's undeniable. So yeah, you do. Be, come to desire that, but at the same time, you realize Howard has a brand, and you realize yeah. FAMU has a brand, and all these, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. Beth- Bethune, all these people have a brand, and it's good, and so it's like, all right, so it, he doesn't have to be from Morehouse, but as long as he understands the importance of education. And mm-hmm. I used to say he doesn't even have to have a college degree until I start having those experiences, but it, as long as he understands 
that you can educate yourself also. Right. You know, I know some brilliant young men who have never been to college, but they pick up a book every week. You know right. what I'm saying? And right. they're educating themselves, they're bettering themselves. And so that is the equivalent, in a sense, of going to a four-year institution. So God's going to have to send him. Yeah. Well, I God's think that if the guy is not trying to step to her, he don't have confidence. Because I stepped to Drea and she got three degrees. <laughs> I didn't get yeah. the first one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I, I feel it's the like confidence of the, the young man. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I feel like. And he has to know who he is. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Facts. Because I'm sure you didn't present yourself like, I ain't been to college, but. Yeah. 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 I, didn't. Okay. I don't have many degrees you got, but I, <laughs> I know right. two blood too. I mean, you know, she, and she never said anything about that, but you right. going there and it's like, oh, okay. I mean, yeah. and, and I know He's she's smarter than me because some but, of the things that she can say and talk about, I be sitting there like, okay, <laughs> oh, okay. But she don't make me feel dumb, but right. but I still know, like, hey, I know because, what I know, because, and I still know I'm champ. Yeah. I feel like you know, right. so you might yeah. not have an education, but God might have, you know, let y'all to meet. Because what you don't know, she can bring mm-hmm. up, and and that doesn't necessarily mean that you know anybody's better than anybody. She just was afforded the opportunity to get an ed- education, mm-hmm. and whatever your dreams or goals are, I've seen it happen. I've seen a guy have a vision and a dream. He don't have to know how, but the wife does because she went to school for business. Right. She do it. Mm-hmm. and she's like, "Oh, I got you. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this." We're gonna do this. Right. And that's, you know, that don't make him less than a man. Because right. one of her degrees is criminal mm-hmm. justice. Mm-hmm. So all the stuff that be going on TV, she be like, no, they did that wrong. Though. And I be sitting there like, you're right. They did that wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you just say? Don't play. She said criminal justice. <laughs> criminal justice. You better never cheat, my boy. You better <laughs> never cheat. She don't know. She know, brother. And she know how to get away <laughs> with the marriage. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Blake, did you have a question? You've been quiet the whole Mighty podcast. quiet. I just, I, just, I just been chilling. I just been chilling. <laughs> yeah. Blake always just chilling. Yeah. Blake just in the cut. Yeah. <laughs> Send the Lord. You had another question? Mm-hmm. Part two. Let's talk hold about on, hold on. part two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What was that? What, what, where did that come from? I'm just asking God to send her. I, See, I said, I'm just chilling, and it, it just came out, oh, send the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, don't send You don't want him to send Okay, well, don't send him. I mean, sure, but I'm like, what did they have to do with Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> now you want him to send <laughs> I mean, yes, but. <laughs> uh, hilarious. You said part two or what? Part two, talk about part two, the the album. Because yeah. it's oh, a great album. Let's talk about the yes. part two. Great Thank album. you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, part two is actually... Um, being mixed, then I have to get it mastered. Um, it it was, a, it's a la- every anything you put out is a labor of love. Yeah. But uh, with everything that has happened, you, a lot of the transitions within the family, you just have to you just have to press pause and right. just really get your bearings. And um, I remember posting something the other day saying, you know, it's okay to press pause as long as you remember to go back and finish. Right. So um, I had to remember to press play. Let's finish this. Mm -hmm. Um, And and recognizing that even though we take time to accept and um, uh, process the changes that happen in our lives, pressing forward is also a part of the healing. Yeah. So that's mm. I'm 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 seeing that as as the next step in my healing because we'll forever be healing from right. things. You know, it just it may not affect us as much today as it did a month ago. Right. Right. Because that healing is progressing. So um uh, yeah. finishing that as well as um taking the one woman show that I presented two years ago. And actually putting it on film. Mm, oh, that was a good show too. And we're actually start we start taping that for, uh, May 11th. That's good. Wow. So and it's gonna, gonna be, be it's gonna be live or it's, it's gonna be in a studio, almost like a sitcom documentary mm. with six 30 good. minute uh, segments. That's gonna be That's good. Yeah. So it's like wow. six six show seasons. And we basically. actually changed the name of it to the caregiver. Ooh, that's mm. nice. That's gonna be nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Wow. Yeah. 
Cause you really took care of grandma. Like we, yes. we appreciate. We gonna give her a round of applause. <laughs> 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 round you of applause. You, you killed grandma here two more years, baby. Cause yeah. grandma, they, and the tree's like, nope. You gonna drink the herb? Yeah. Eat the herb. <laughs> Just black you seed on. Black feet on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and grandma was just doing it. Oh, oh man. All right. <laughs> Until about that she last. Stopped. Yeah, yeah, she, she was like, like well, now like, you're right. them. She started hiding her pills in the bed. Yeah. She's like, uh uh-uh, uh. And I said, going in reverse. I said, I said, I said what I said. I'm sick of this. <laughs> I'm gone. This is I'm, like, I'm, I'm sick of all of y'all. I'm make you take this. So we'll, if you don't want to, we'll stop. And Hold she on. Stopped. She was hiding in the bed. Hiding her pills oh, in yeah. the bed. Oh, yes. You go to change. Because she thought I was going to fuss at her or something. Yeah. You go to change the sheets and you're like, pills to bed. Wow. I ain't know that. Wow. was doing some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what she was saying, she had been a pill pusher or something. I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> yeah. Now that's funny. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Part two. Yeah, that's good. Part two. That was a good. Album. I and love that album. We're it, we're in the space, or yeah, we're we're in this time where we have to maximize everything that God has given us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mainly because He has. Leveled the playing field. I was just about to say that. Like, <laughs> no excuse. At no excuse. Everybody, <laughs> everybody is the same. Yep. You know, everybody had to shut down. Mm-hmm. Everybody had to. Yep. Now, I won't say start over, but everybody had to go back to the drawing board and figure out. How to okay, do how do I do yep. business now, or how I do entertainment? How do I do life post pandemic, mm-hmm. or whatever? So mm-hmm. it's like maximize everything He has given you. I've always said, if God give me an idea and all I have is a hundred dollars, I'm gonna do. A hundred dollars worth of that idea, mm, yeah. and then ne- and more will come. But we wait and sit because we want everything to be perfect. perfect. We want to be able to write thirty checks and just let's go. That's and one it, of my problems. It, it, it very seldom <laughs> it come is. like that. He want to see, okay, are you trusting me with the little? Mm. And as you be faithful with the little, he'll open door, the door for you to get more. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times, if he give us that more all of a sudden, mm-hmm. we'll forget what we're supposed to do. We'll go shopping. Mm-hmm. We'll go on That's trips. True. That's true. We, don't, we, don't, wow. we won't put it and reinvest in ourselves or That's reinvest true. in our visions and our dreams. Mm-hmm. That's true. We go, we go straight I commercial. Never when I get When I first signed my first deal, I, I think they gave me like, Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. Uh, the truth. First thing she said was, "You need to go record this to get yes. the stuff." Yes. She, she said, yes. we blowing it." She was like, "You yes. need to invest." <laughs> yeah, every time I get a royalty, I don't go shopping. I put it back into the music, right? Because if I, I realize if I keep producing that, it's gonna produce more it's of those checks. More yeah. fruit, coming. more fruit. Absolutely. Keep yeah, keep water. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat. Don't eat up your harvest. But you, you yeah. said a great word, trust. Because, you know, different things I was dealing with, God told me, he said, Champ, I want you to trust me like you trust that chair that you get ready yes. to sit in. Because it don't mean it's going to hold you when you sit in it. Right. But you trust that chair to do it. Yes. So we just have to continue to trust him. <laughs> you think I don't think you should trust that chair. I don't think you should trust that chair. Because when you said it that one, it made a noise. I think I already know that. That's some trust, baby. Y'all are mad. Y'all so wrong. <laughs> That's some truth. Oh, you that good, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's so good, champ. Yeah. So <laughs> now you know I was waiting. Oh, God. Oh, man. Ooh. Now that's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Auntie Lid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this, this, uh, we Pat, need, what's yeah. that? We need to get a movie because you've been, you've been, people been watching your stuff for years. The comedian. You've been acting up. Oh, you, is that something you want to do? Getting acting and Oh, uh, you know, Uh-oh. for a while. No, it, it oh, I literally you were... <clears throat> the desire it left I for a while. I, uh, I guess when you get so busy just trying to get through school, you like mm-hmm. forget. I'm not so, laughing. This ain't, is no laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> this is ain't no nothing laughing funny. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> but you know, um, every now and then, God, you get a God wink. And mm-hmm. um, something happens where you, not force, but your gift just automatically start operating, mm-hmm. you know. And that gift of laughter um, started operating again because of so much that we were going through, so much that we were dealing with. Yeah. So I found myself not trying to be funny, just operating in the gift that God gave me. Right. And then 
from there, you know, other things have been happening. And so the desire is back again. So awesome. Uh, if you're into production, call me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm up. willing and ready and able. <laughs> so, funny. yeah, the desire is back now. So That's good. So let me ask y'all this. Uh, people want to know, are y'all, would y'all be uh, willing to do another uh, album. Paces the album? Uh, we know, well, let me put it like this. So we know, like, you know, we just transitioned and lost a family member. So mm-hmm. I know a lot have... Uh, express that you know they that's kind of hard and I know it's kind of early to even think about that but is that something that you know y'all would even consider or we just still trying to figure that out I don't think it's too much because Mm -hmm. we just got out of the studio just the other day with Rudy Kearns Rudy I love Rudy and it was so amazing how different ones that went into the studio text me at different times and said thank you Mm, they needed it because it was yeah it was therapy it gave them permission to still sing in mm. a sense because when someone who was such a vital part is such a vital part right. of your family, of your ministry, of your singing, mm. uh, when they they leave like that so quickly, sometimes you can feel like, I don't want to do nothing. Right. You know, I, I went through that season of not, it was quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I had, because I had to come on up out of there. But you go through a season where you just don't want to do the things that you used to do with them because it's like, it's bringing who's going to do yeah. their part? Yeah. You know? And I, I, I told someone the same thing, and I'm going to say it again. God saw this day when he promised us what he promised us. He knew Duranis would not be here. Yeah. And wow. his he promises <laughs> were not contingent yeah, upon her being here. Mm. And so when he reminded me of that, I had to get myself together. Wow. You know, <laughs> do what you have to do. If you have to put on a little rouge or a little something so you can look all right because you don't, you know, your face ain't right. What a, put it together. Pull it together and get back out there and do what God has ordained you to do. Right. Because your promises were not contingent upon who's going to be in your life and who's not going to be in your life. Your promises from the Lord are yea and amen, and they are for you. So go forward. That's good. That's very good. I think for me, <laughs> yeah. uh, I think for me, I would have to. Uh, oh, I'm trying to figure out how to word it. I, I, I don't know what that would look like and what it would sound like. And I mm. think for me to to be fully on board, I would have to know what it, what that what it would look like and sound like. Like right. it would have to be revamped, mm-hmm. and that, so I would have to. The situation will just have to be right. Too. It just yeah. be right I would have to, to hear the songs. I would have to hear the vision of it. I would have to hear. It, it, it's not like, um, all right, let's just go. It, mm-hmm. I, I, I need to see it all come together mm-hmm. before I see it come together. I got you. You know, it would just be a different lead because we were her background singers anyway. <laughs> and not not really just a different lead. It's a different sound. It's a different sound. It's a different sound. Yeah, it would be I a get it. Yeah. But yeah, it's like. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's just it's just different. It's different. Yeah. It's it's different. Just, and you can't explain it. Yeah, it's like okay. But yeah. it's understood though. Yeah, it's yeah. Understood. that's what you were used to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I get it. We were that's what well, you were used to. All things are possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh well, yes. We'll see y'all. Oh yes. Uh, but uh, for right now, go buy the old music. <laughs> yeah. And part two coming yeah. out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're right, I want to encourage you. If you're writing new music with us in mind, still send it anyway, mm-hmm. because you don't know what God is gonna do. Right. right. Still, you know, get in touch with us anyway. Yeah. yeah. Because it may be your song that, that may- brings us through the night. So. Oh, but I need to put a speaking tongue. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a big tongue. Hey! Woo, that's hilarious. We're open to God. We're open to God. Yeah. Blake Wesley Pace. <laughs> you are quiet. I mean, everybody. You sleeping. Everybody's talking. No, I'm not sleeping. I'm just chilling. He listening. Come on, ask a question. Okay, well, in the last, uh, last one. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. The people were mm-hmm. talking. <laughs> Go ahead and talk. Make sure the camera's still there. The people were talking about, uh, somebody asked talking about who does Blake think he is with these rings. Now, this one here has said a lot 
about the rings before. So I just want I just want to hear what you what do you think about these rings? What do you think about Your my rings? rings? How you gonna ask a question about yourself? <laughs> you, you know, you, we are the guests. <laughs> but we want your opinion. <laughs> I, we want your opinion. That's what I want to know. Because okay. some people have said okay, some I'll stuff, so ahead. I want to know what your opinion is. My honest opinion, I'm going to give it to you. I accept you with or without the rings. But, yeah, I do believe that some days you ought to just maybe wear two. And then the next day you bring them out a lot. You know, because, you know, they may have things they need some to do. Some days wear two. I'm sorry, that's, that's people not in the show talking <laughs> in the background. Some days some they days, have some <laughs> They may have things they need to do. You said there's people in the show that's so, not talking. Aaron in the background they, not on the show. <laughs> they may have things. <laughs> so, but oh I have to tell you either way. The rings you, may have things they need to do. You are my Blake, so oh. it's all right. Oh, Lord. What kind of man do y'all be that way? Did y'all, uh, do you see a change in like the type of man you looked for in when you were like in your 20s and 30s? Oh, oh, and who you... Looking for now, mm, yeah. Other than, of course, financial. Like, like a man, you should have had your finances up from when you was twenty. Like, if you fifty something years old, something you, you don't need to have some financial struggles as twenty and thirties. Yeah. Like but go ahead. Other than financial. And honestly, I, I think people shouldn't even think about marry until after they're thirty. I almost want to say forty. Because you're really still trying to find yourself. You're trying to get your footing. You're trying to figure it out. Um, it, it's um, My friends talk about all the time how in our community, we say at 18, what? You're grown. Mm -hmm. So we expect for our children to go out in the world at 18 and know it all and figure it out like... <laughs> hey, go, go, yep. go, go, go get a job, figure out how to save. And, and we haven't prepared them like, no, at 18, you just you just graduate. Exactly. Stay under this un, under my wings a little bit. And even before then, like there should there should there should just be things. I'm going somewhere else, I guess. No, 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 no. I, no and that's, I think, good. that's good. Though. There should be things as a teenager even on before, prior to becoming 18, that groom our young men and, and ladies as well as to how to uh, be better equipped in the world opposed to you 18, you grown, and that's, that's it. Right. That's, yeah. pr that's pretty much all, mm -hmm. you know, they get, all the support they get. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say I feel like in those years from 18 to 30, you're really trying to figure it out. You're really trying to figure out, okay, am, do I want to go to school? Do I want to build a career? Do I want to work a bit? a bit, Or do I just want to travel? You know, so um, when you're younger, you have space for trial and error because you're figuring it out. After a certain age, like for me at 48, I'm not trying to work with nobody. With <laughs> Right. I, I mean, I don't mind at 21. I work with you. Right. Let's build something together right. from the ground up. Mm -hmm. I need to come in with this, at least the foundation already made <laughs> right. now. That, and then true. we can go from there up. Exactly. So, yeah, the expectations are different because mm -hmm. my maturity level is different. Mm -hmm. You know, there are things I've, I've uh, developed within myself. So whatever I've developed within myself, mm -hmm. I can now place that, not demand, but that's a requirement that I want from somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, if I've taken time to heal and get healthy, I need you to take time to heal, to heal and get healthy. Yeah. So, yeah, it's different. I concur with that because I had to chuckle because when I was younger, I used to say, oh, I want God to put my husband in my life, and we struggle together. Yeah. Because there is a bonding that comes yes. with struggle yes. together that nobody can break. <laughs> <laughs> we did this together. Bye -bye. And that's beautiful. <laughs> and that's beautiful. <laughs> Let that's me beautiful. tell you right now. Mentor. That's Let beautiful. Me right yeah. That's your story. It's beautiful. I didn't know I was going to... It won't be everybody. I didn't story. know I was yep. going to struggle a little bit longer. By yourself. I, yeah. Yep. I was thinking God was bringing him within a 10-year frame. But yeah. those 10 years are up. So now <laughs> it's like, well, Lord, let him come 
established as I am also getting established. Yeah. And things doors are opening. I'm I'm glad for that. You know. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. I, I, at the same time, I thank God for how He is establishing me. But I feel like I always feel like if you're going to be the leader, mm-hmm. if you're going to be out in front, which the man is. You should already be a few paces ahead of me. Oh, wow. that's, uh, that's, that's, that's walking that's... next to me. That's that's okay, but see, there are some things that the leader should be able to see before and understand mm-hmm. before. Why? Because you've experienced it. You've gone through it. I've been down there. I've struggled. I'm up here now. Yeah. Now I can tell you how to come through, and even help you come mm. through. But uh, some people don't want that. I I mm-hmm. rather for I'll you to have had that experience and be ahead of me, uh, so that you can help me come along, and I in some way gonna help you as well. But no, I want to say it like that. That's good. Yeah, I want to go back to what I was saying too, because I think a lot of times in our society. We try to make everybody, we, we should say everybody should do this and then this and then that and then that. Everybody's story is going to be different. Mm-hmm. Everybody's experiences and lives are going to be different. People are going to come into your life at different times because that's just how God ordained it. Right. And he ordained it that way for specific purposes and reasons. Right. There are some people that may need a spouse at 21 to help them uh, avoid certain situations or to help mature them quicker. So I don't want everybody to think I said, nope, I don't, I'm not saying nobody should get married before then. It's right. just, it would probably be better for some right. if they wait uh, until, but um, yeah, we all, we all going to have different experiences Absolutely. and different people are going to help mature us and bring great things out of us. And you know what I've even noticed? Because I used to say, oh, Lord, I don't want a ready-made family Mm -hmm. because of things that I've witnessed and seen that happens with ready-made families. You know, that's extra stress on that guy if he's coming in and he don't have a child or the woman because they're trying to fit in a band or a bond that's already been bonded. Mm -hmm. But what I realize is when God does a thing, he does it well. well. And I used to say, oh, I don't want a ready-made family because of that. But then I realized there are some characteristics and maturity that gets built up in you Mm -hmm. from going through certain things that make you a better man Mm, or make you a better woman to where you're more sensitive. And now you're just like, the perfect spouse and you can be throwing away the perfect spouse because of what you ex- perceive yeah. as baggage. Yeah. yeah. Not everything that's coming along with the person is baggage. Sometimes it's just company. Yeah. So Ooh. you can't just, hey. you you can't say, "Oh, he got this, he got he got that." No, mm-hmm. it's under control. Yeah. If he got it under control and he's managing it and he he's able to make you a priority and realize, okay, this is my wife, and he's able to talk to those children and say, now, this is not your mother, mm-hmm. but this is my wife. But you know I'm what I'm respect. saying? Because yeah, yeah. those were just things I, that deterred me. And I, I just you. like, oh, So I basically you're saying all baggage is in bad baggage. Isn't bad baggage. Wow. If he it if he's managing it. Yeah. If and then yeah. And then you don't know what's in some of those bags. Because yeah. some don't. of those bags are packed with goodness. Some and inheritance. You know? So we always think that baggage <laughs> is gross. It's impulsated. Mm-hmm. It's something that's going to deter our lives and Burdensome. make it worse. Mm-hmm. Burdensome. Mm-hmm. But sometimes those bags can be filled with four carrots, praise God. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Because <laughs> if one of those step children money. grow up and go to the NBA, <laughs> to be a Eddie Murphy, uh-huh. <laughs> or to now, yeah. or to be a, you now, know, yeah. you don't know what not you're so, raising. You know, yeah, not yeah, that that's you go true. into yeah. anything with that in mind, mm-hmm. because you're coming in already. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. right. I got my stuff together. I'm building. You build. We gonna build. But yeah. you just never know in the midst of your love and what you're gonna love out. What you yes. gonna establish yes. and, and cause somebody to yes. be so? Yes. Like like I said, do it with God. With God, yeah. always, always make sure that you're making decisions with God at the forefront, yeah. um, and not at, not because of what something looks like. Yeah. Because you can get somebody that's totally single and never had a child, and then he's so selfish and caught up in himself, and it's all about him. And you know, you better off being single. Yeah. yeah. So. You know, or her. I don't want to make it just about me. Because some women have been pampered and babied all their lives. They don't know how to be a help me. Yeah. 
They yeah. don't know how to support you when you're down. Right. Right. You know, you down, they want to get down too. No, this is a time for you to stand up and be strong and be praying. Father in yeah, the name yeah. of yeah. Jesus undergird him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but he buckling, you buckling now. Oh, all y'all just down. Okay, all y'all just buck. <laughs> okay, just all book. Y'all just book. <laughs> you know, so you have to make sure that you are seeking the Lord and getting a mate because this is what God has for you and not because she got the right behind or her bosom is the right side this. and now her that waistline does is the right matter. side. No, just playing. You know, <laughs> you know, because my thing is love know how to pull all that in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can love someone Stand into up. a greater dimension yes. where they're like, when they see pe people that have known them years, see them and they're like, what that's happened? who? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, God sent her someone that loves her. God right. sent him someone that loved them. And they're like, How I didn't even know it was possible for you to look that good. Yes. Let alone be this good. You are what now? And we talk yeah. about you that. You can yeah. love people into their destiny. You can love people, but we got people that are so selfish now mm -hmm. that it's all about them. Their prayers are all about them and they don't ever want to pray nobody else through. Mm -hmm. They don't ever want to, you know, get down with somebody else and help lift them up. No. Come on. I need you already up here with me yeah be open to god that's why i yeah. said be sensitive to god yeah now don't be down there trying to help somebody and they ain't willing to come up i had to tell one young man you just down too low i i, I can't i'm sorry i, I, can't, I can't reach you, you. Yeah. I, can't, I can't reach you. I, i'm trying <laughs> but i can't <laughs> huh? because he just refused to come up out of his stupor and to he was planted there yeah he was mm. yeah it's like you want to waddle in that because i'm naturally a happy person you know and you just want to be yeah. <laughs> eeyore all day yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah i can't do and that. i'm not laughing and giggling all day but i'm just usually just right but you ain't and then here you come. all day i'm yeah. not yeah so you know, you have to make sure, like I said, just seek God, decipher this stuff with God. Yeah, That's let Him good. choose. That's good. Good information. This has been good. <laughs> I know that people are going to be blessed on today. Yes, <laughs> on tonight. Well, did y'all have any more questions? Oh, I think um, it was pretty good. Like, Slay got one more. One more. Aunt Teresa said something about the whole. Uh, said something about the education, like how some people don't be going to eighteen, and they just expect them to go. Mm -hmm. All the way in. Yeah. You are like a good, like an advocate of education. How do you feel about how high school either prepares or don't prepare the young people mm. to go out into the world and be the, ready? The average high school does not necessarily prepare uh, a child to be ready to go out into the world. It does prepare you for college. But then when you're talking about a charter school or a private school, that's something on a whole nother level. They may be ready or able to leave there and, and, and go out. But there is a there is a particular race of people that purposely. OK, there's two that I know of purposely move into a neighborhood. Yes. Get a large home. Yes. Move everybody in. And as they they get their business. Work that business, work that business, work that business. And as they get, accumulate enough money to purchase another house, they go and purchase another house and set one of the couples that's in that house in that house. And they continue mm -hmm. work that business, work that business. till they basically have bought up your whole neighborhood, but they started out in one house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't put your child out before it's time. Yeah. Mm. That race would never put their child never. out before time. They are cultivating that child. They are teaching that child. This is how you uh, govern a household. This is how you go and apply for a mortgage. But this is how you have a business so you don't have to apply for a mortgage if you don't want to. You know, cultivate that child because you don't send your child away to college to find themselves. Mm. Because the mm -hmm. devil is right there to they make sure find they find things. everything else mm -hmm. but themselves. But themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and then they come home and you trying to figure out who are who is they? Right. <laughs> what happened? Keep mm -hmm. your child in your house. Make them welcome there and say, you know what? Okay, I'm, I know you're in college, but let's cultivate you and let's teach you some things that maybe your school didn't teach you. Um, mother, oh my goodness, I love her. She used mm -hmm. to give me her checkbook and say, write that check out. Mm-hmm. 
And I didn't do it right the first time. She told me, okay, no, let me show you how to write out a check. Mm, wow. <laughs> Mother would purposely take me on trips with her to pay on bill yes. day, to pay bills. So I know how to speak to people and what to say to them. Uh, we we need an extension. Mm. Now, uh, can y'all stretch it out for us? <laughs> I can't pay it. I, 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 I got. I need two you know more. What I'm you know, learn the proper lingo and how to speak. Don't be what people expect you to be. Sometimes the Still negative say. that people expect you to be. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, in that sense. Sometimes people see you coming, they automatically think, "Oh, you don't know. She don't know." Teach your children. Right. Business lingo. There's a whole dictionary. Yeah. Yes. A business lingo. Teach them. Help them. Take them on errands with you. Take them to business meetings with you. Sit in the corner. Don't say nothing, but keep your ears open. Mm -hmm. You know, and establish them, you know, so they know what to do and how to do when they're ready. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, True. I appreciate my dad. My dad did Mm -hmm. that. James is definitely that. He's great. He's the epitome of that. I could have been out. I didn't leave because I was 34. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, he didn't. He never said like, "Hey." Yeah. I mean, and even when I yeah. moved out, mm-hmm. I called him and I told him, I said, "I apologize for not giving you money like help. every month right. mm-hmm. to help because mm-hmm. I'm doing it now. And I could have been doing so it. So why couldn't I've done that when yeah. I was there? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Oh man, you know, you good. Like, mm-hmm. I'm still gonna pay." I was like, "No, I understand that, yeah. but like, I it's just appreciate him because he just." Mm-hmm. He's one of the best dads ever. He's love. Absolutely. Yeah. That's just being yeah. just a good, yeah. just a great father. Yeah. 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 Mom yeah. too. They were loving you. Yeah. Into your destiny. They did. You know, they and really they did. knew one day he gonna get it. Yeah. But sometimes we throw our children out to the wolves. Yeah. And see, you should. I did not tell you. No, this is your fault. Yeah. Because God said your ministry wasn't open. They did not you want Quante to go. Quante left. Well, she didn't leave yeah. wrong. Yeah. She was like, "This is what I want to do." Yeah. yeah. And she handled it. Yeah. She came back one time, but Quante handled, handled the situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I probably would have been back. Yeah. Because I wanted Jordans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Eat every night. Yeah. You know, I was just, do- you know, I got my check. And, you know, and then when I was. ate every night. And then when I was making some good money at Amazon, four, 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 four. I was like, man, I would yeah. get my whole check and I would come home and I'd get Quante and Jasmine. I'd be like, and Bombay. Let's go to, um, yeah, yeah Bombay. Bombay. I said, oh let's God. go to the mall. So I would spend like $1,200 on a Friday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We hit them all buying I was, everything. I know. I was the and recipient of some of that. Monday. I didn't have like, nothing. What? Yeah. yeah. You got to do it. Yeah. Then I need to get paid this card. No, can you help yeah. me? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But yeah. you learn, though. I learned. I will also say that because God is such a loving father, even mm-hmm. if you, any of us feel like we were ill equipped in any way, mm-hmm. if we stay close to him mm-hmm. and be open to the relationships and the people that he bring in our lives, mm-hmm. they will make up the difference. Everybody, mm-hmm. almost everybody that come into our life is to teach us a lesson in mm-hmm. some kind of way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every situation is to mature us and grow us in mm-hmm. some kind of way mm-hmm. if we remain open to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. But um, yeah, he, he, he will allow situations to help make up the difference mm-hmm. so that you don't use that as a crutch. Amen. Or you, or we don't use things as an excuse. He's like, no, I'm there's, there's no lack in me. Mm-hmm. Right. And because there's no lack in me, there won't be any lack in you. Yeah. You, you won't, I'm not going to let you be insufficient. Right. You know, so I'm going to, I'm going to let you get this job or let you not get that job or whatever to teach you this or teach you that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's all for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Good this stuff. has been a great podcast. Yes, it has. Y'all like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share, yes, sir. Uh, ding, 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 ding. donate, cash app, dollar sign. Welcome to the oh. family. How, what's it? What's the? What's the as we close, as, as, coins, <laughs> as we close, I I feel led to say just this one line. Oh, yeah, where you are, whoever you are, mm-hmm. wherever you are, has not caught God by surprise. Mm. Wow. He is not somewhere in heaven trying to think Shop. of a contingency plan mm. or an emergency plan mm-hmm. for you. You are in the will of God. You are in the mind of God. You're mm-hmm. on the heart of God. Yeah. And I want you to know that you're not a mistake. With a father, without a father. Yeah. With the mother, mm-hmm. without a mother. And some education. of them are in the home. Mm-hmm. Education, no education. Mm-hmm. You got mother figures and father figures in the home, but none of them are really walking it out. Yeah. But where you are has not caught God by surprise. And he's using your circumstance yeah. to make the be- make you better. Yes. Don't be bitter, as Nisi was, would say. Yeah. Don't get bitter. 
but get better better. better. and rely on God, Mm -hmm. depend on God. As Latrice was saying, he's right there. God is right there with you. So (laughs) I just wanted to say that before I felt that real heavy on my heart because God knew what was going to, what it was going to take to make you, you, you. And that's why he put you where he put you. There are some plants that cannot grow in the sunlight, but you put that plant in the shade It'll grow. And people will be like, it grows. Yes. It'll grow all over your room. Yeah. Wow. And and I made that mistake, thinking wow. every every plant needs sunlight. And, mm-hmm. I said, and a look. lot of water. And a lot of water. I said, let me look this up. <laughs> so God know where wow. he planted you, and yeah. he know what he put in you, and he know the environment that it takes yes. for you to flourish and to be magnificent and awesome. And like they said, be great. Yes. Like he ordained for you to be. So that. don't begrudgingly go through what you're going through. Yeah. Go through with the praise and say, God, I know you got a plan for me. Yes. And you're right here with me. I have to add to what Lydia mm-hmm. said. Um, I, I thought about the time when I auditioned for, I got actually not just audition, but I got the role of Seely mm. um, in the color purple. And I can think about this anytime I've gotten any role, I could have used the excuse that daddy said I couldn't go to college. Mm. I was not, uh, I was not trained to be an actor. I don't know what I'm doing. So why would I audition for this? Mm. Or why would I accept it? Because I was not prepared. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not educated to do that. Mm. But what I did every time I got a role, God give me insight mm. that no one has ever seen on this character. That's mm-hmm. good. That's God good. give give me how to play it. Give me yes. how to portray it. I'm yes. I'm counting on you. I will never forget. I did um, Tyler Perry. Perry's show with Bishop Jakes mm. Mm. and something as they wanted me to play uh, a nurse mm-hmm. and another nurse, not nurse Nancy, but okay. this was another nurse <laughs> uh, behind closed doors and something as simple as one day as I was walking down the steps, Holy Spirit said, take your time and walk down these steps as if you have arthritis, mm. as if you are actually this age. Mm. Yeah. When I came off the stage that night, Tyler said, who told you to, to, to walk, come down those steps like that? I said, God did. He was like, well, he told you right because you were about to go home. <laughs> what? <Wow. laughs> because wow. they thought I was playing it too, playing or too young. Mm. You know, you'll get it when you're wow. acting, you'll get in yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, ain't, I ain't no old lady. No, but Latrice playing, is not an yeah. old lady, but this this, this role yeah. that's gonna pay some bills is an old paid. lady. This lady's seventy five. So I need you to figure out how to be an old lady. You know. <laughs> so yeah, and mm-hmm. anything that we feel like we are lacking, mm-hmm. ask God mm, to give good. it to you. Ask Him to show you how to do it. Mm-hmm. Ask Him to give you guidance. Ask Him to give you a, a crash course. Mm-hmm. That's good. If any man lack wisdom, that's He said, "I am me. standing." I'm sitting back. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm anxiously ready to give it to you. Yes. All I need you to do is open up your mouth exactly. and say, I need it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Lord, I need That's it. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 We finna get out of here. But last week, we um, ended it by praying for, for Marcus and encouraged him. So we're going to ask you to close us out with just a quick prayer for him and just encourage him in this season yes. of what's going on. Father, you're a good, good father. Yes, Lord. That is who you are. Yes, Lord. You're not making it up. You don't have to fake because that's just who you are. Every element of you, every turn you make, everything you do is just good. And this is why you gave us to know in your word that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and those who are the called according to his purpose. So God, we pray that you look on Marcus and all the Marcuses of this world, those that are like him, that have lost their mothers, lost their fathers. Uh, Some have even just lost jobs and things and that they were depending on. And it was just like, it's like they're starting from rock bottom and feel like they have no hope, feeling like they have no one and nothing. 
but God give them to know that you are God, the creator of all things. Yes. Yes. And that whatever they need, you're able to create yes, you because are. you are creator God. Yes. You are the God who is never backed into a corner. You, there is no mm-hmm. pandemic. There is no outbreak. There is yeah. nothing that catches you by surprise. Nothing. You I already know. have a contingency plan in yes. place. You yes, already you. have a plan in place. But yes. God, we've got to tap into what you're saying. So God, give us ears that we may hear you. Touch our minds that we may perceive rightfully and not be held back by what others thought of us. Mm. And so now we're thinking that of ourselves. Not being held back by how others hurt us, so now we're hurting others. But God, purify us. Sanctify us. us. Make us, oh God, what you would have us to be. And not what our problems and our troubles and the enemies have sought to make of us. But God, you you fight for who you ordained for us to be. Indeed. Fight yes, for Jesus. us, oh God. There are many things that's pulling us in many directions and trying to get us warped out of shape and bent yeah. out of shape. But God, wrap your loving arms yes. around yes, us. God. 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 Thank God. You, God. Jesus. Yes, Protect Lord. your investment. Yes, for it can't for you invested in us. Yes. This is why you sent your son to yes, die Jesus. for us. And that was your investment. Yes, now, God, Jesus. make good on your investment. Yes, Some want to be artists and some want to be actors and some want to be business owners. God, you have spoken your word and you said it shall not come back void, but it shall go forth forth. to fulfill and to accomplish that which you have ordained, that which you've spoken, that which you originally intended. I don't care if you're somewhere in a ditch right now. I speak the word of God. Get up. Get up. And live. Get up, come out, and and live. live. God has already given you everything you need. It's innate. It's within you. Greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. There are so many he's and things in the world that's fighting against you, but God said, I want you to know you're greater. greater. No matter how sad it is, God said, my joy is more powerful. No matter matter how death-taking and breath-taking it is, God yes. said, I am the breath of life. Yes. Yes. Yes, he Thank said, all I need you to do is breathe in. Breathe in. Yes. Where you are has not taken you by happenstance. Mm-hmm. You're not there by chance. Even your mistakes mm-hmm. are ordered by the Lord. So take in this moment. Mm-hmm. Take in all that I am. And know that I'm there for you. Uh-huh. Know that I am there waiting for you to cry out to me. Hallelujah. The word said, call uh-huh. on me and I will answer yeah. and show you great, great and, and mighty, mighty, mighty things you know oh, not Lord. of. Yeah. You've been praying for witty inventions and you've been mm-hmm. praying for great songs. He said, I'm going to show you great and mighty things mm-hmm. you know not of. I'm going to yeah. give you songs you haven't heard. Yeah. I'm going to give you tunes that's never been written down. I'm going to give you songs and plays that's never been written, but I need you to call on me. Call on me. Hallelujah. Why? Because in your calling on me, it's acknowledging me as God. Yes. And you're dying to yourself that's saying, I'm Die great. I'm self. wonderful. God said, no, 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 no. I need you to depend on me and give me the glory. Yes. Because yes, I'm not going to set your light up. For you to get all the glory and for you to get all the praise. I'm setting your light up for you to point back to me and say, God did it. it. God did it. And Lord, we thank you you, that in not many days hence, those that are watching and listening will have this testimony. Hallelujah. God did it. God did it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because it is done. It is done. It's already done. Yeah. Yes. Ain't gonna say it. <laughs> I was like, you finished that. It's already no. done. It's already done. We dedicate oh, this man. to you, Duran. Yes. yes. Your birthday yes. month and Mother's Day. Hey, Amen. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy Mother's birthday. Day. Yes. 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 Thank y'all. See you later.